Hey guys, Crystal here with Crystal's Crafties. Uh, today I want to show you how to make invitations or greeting cards um, completely within Cricut Design Space. Um, I have linked in the blog post to all of the graphics that I used. I've linked to this um, donut background, to the font that I'm using, um, candy beans I think it's called, and the um, actual clip art. So I'm going to just kind of hide this one over here so we can get started on a new one. The first thing you'll want to do is come over to your shapes and pull in a square. You're going to want to size the square to whatever size you want your invitations. Um, I click this unlock up here. You can also click it down here. I like to make my invitations four by six because when I'm printing them on a standard sheet of printer paper or photo paper, I can get two on one print, so that's my preference there. Okay, so I've got that sized to the four by six. I'm gonna come up here to my fill box and change it from no fill to print. And then to get the pattern in, I'm gonna select this color box, and instead of putting a color in it, I'm going to uh, go to the pattern selection, and I'm gonna pick the pattern that I want. For this one, I used this donut pattern here, and it's filled my box with that pattern now. Um, I've also linked in the blog post to a video that shows you how to upload these patterns if you don't know how to put your own patterns into Cricut Design Space. Okay, so there is our background, um, but we need a text box so that we can actually see the writing. So again, I'm gonna pull in a square I'm going to move it over here, unlock it, and size it. Okay, I'm going to turn this square white, so I've clicked it. I also want it to be a print file, so I'm going to come to Fill, Print, click the color box, and instead of changing it to a pattern, I'm just going to leave color, and I want it white. Okay, so now I have my white text box, but it's not exactly centered. You can eyeball it, um, but the easier way is just to come drag, drop, highlight everything. Click Align. You want to center horizontally. And then you also want to center vertically. And now the box is perfectly centered. Um, when you're editing other parts of your invitation, you're going to end up moving this box on accident. So to prevent that from happening, again, select everything and just group it together. Okay, so now it's all one thing um, and you're good to go. You can make your text box however big or however small you want. Um, this one's probably a little big, um, but whatever, I'm gonna work with this from here. Okay, so now we need to start pulling our text in. So I'm gonna come over to text and I think I said it was candy beans. Yes, candy beans. That's the um, font that I'm using. I've linked to the font in the blog post, so you can go purchase that if you want. Um, I don't even remember what I said. Hold on, let me go look at the invitation here. It said, come on, don't miss the fun. Okay hide that again. <clears throat> okay, text, candy beans, put my caps lock on, donut miss the fun. Okay, the next line was Zoe Grace. Oh, I don't think that was all cap. And then the next line was, is turning, and that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to size this and get our colors in the way we want them. Oops. Okay. Now I've unlocked it. I'm just going to make it a little taller. Okay, now here's Zoe Grace. Let me size that and get it in. Unlock. 
squish it, drag it, get it however you want it, is turning. Let's make that smaller. Okay. Um, and then you're going to um, get the colors for everything that you want. Going to take this and again, we're going to make it a print. We're going to change the color to this pink. This one, we're going to make it a print. Change the color to blue. This one, make it a print. Change the color back to pink. Okay, donut missed the fun. Zoe Grace is turning. Well, now we get, need to get the big donut. So I'm going to come into here. I've already uploaded all of the graphics. Here they are. I'm just going to put them in the project. And this is a donut creator. Um, this actual graphic is not available anymore for purchase. Um, I've linked to another one that's just as cute. But it is all one graphic. You're not going to have to put it together like you're watching me do right now. So let's see here. These are huge. So I'm going to just highlight everything and kind of resize it all so that it's not ginormous anymore. You won't have to do this. Don't worry about it. I just want a normal size donut to work with. Okay. Okay, now I can ungroup this donut and put it together the way it's meant to be. And then get my little sprinkles. Whoop, move them to the front. Okay, now I've got my donut put together. I'm going to group it back together so nothing moves. And I can put it into my project. It's probably a little bit big. I don't know, I'll resize it once I get the other letters in here. So I'm adding my text. I need the cap lock again. The donut is my O, so I just need an E. Okay. Size this to however I think it's going to look best. Okay, that works. Now, to make each one of these a different color, I'm going to have to ungroup them because if I just come up here, make it a print, make it a color, they're both going to be the same color. So while it's still selected, come click ungroup. And now each one is separate, and I can change the color of this E to the blue. Okay. Um, so there's all of that. To get this to be a solid thing, I'm going to select the first one, hold down Shift, select N, select E. So that's all together now, and I'm going to group it. Okay, if we're happy with the placement of everything so far, we need to group it all together so that it doesn't get moved accidentally when we're making more edits. I'm going to smoosh it all up a little bit. Okay. Highlight everything and group. Now I'm ready to add my text at the bottom. So... Come, whoop, my caps lock is on. Come celebrate Zoe's first uh, birthday. Now I want to change the font. We don't want all of this stuff to be in the candy beans. So let me get just a plain font. I really like Cake Basics for a plain font. You need Cricut Access to get this, but Cricut Access is amazing, and I recommend you get it. Let me capitalize this C. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to take all of the text that we have here. Again, put it to a print. 
And I want it to be um, like a super dark gray, but not quite black. Okay. Let's resize it so we can stick it in here. Unlock, drag down. Okay. And then we'll put the rest of it in. Um, ah. Oops, <laughs> I need to make those zeros, not O's. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, two, three o'clock. PM. Okay, again, we're going to change this to a print. We're going to make it this super dark gray color. Make it going to fit in the box. The easiest, what you can like scroll all the way over here, get this and drag it. I like to just come and change the width to something I know I can work with. I just change that to six. Then I know it's small enough I can get it in here. I'm not going to finish um, doing all of this information down here. You know how to put the text in. You know all your data. So that's where I'm going to leave all of this for now. Um, you would just finish filling that out with the rest of your information. Okay. We've got the invitation the way we want it. Let's just pretend that's done. A couple more very important steps to take. Again, come group everything together. Now, this next step, if you don't get anything else from this video, please get this. You need to come down here and hit flatten. If you don't do this, when you go to cut this, your Cricut will cut each little thing. It'll cut each word, it'll cut the donut, it'll cut this square, and then it'll go cut the next square. You have to hit flatten. That's like the be all end all of Cricut Print and Cut. Okay, so now that I've got it flattened, I can send it to my printer. I'm going to I'm going to take this one out and go to the one that I have actually completed. Okay, and you're also going to notice um, I have a shadow behind my words here. I have another video that shows you how to get that shadow. You cannot do it within Design Space itself, or I would just show you right here. But I have linked in the blog, and if you just uh, look up in the video, the YouTube video, you're going to see a little block come across. It will also take you to the tutorial that shows you how to get the shadow. You can see right here I had to do that in another program. My front letters, my shadow letters, front letters, shadow letters, and then I imported it into Design Space. Okay, so we've got our invitation. It's flattened. It's ready to go just the way we want it. We're going to hit make it. Oh, I skipped a step. Sorry, guys. That was only going to print one. <laughs> okay, so if we want two on our page... I'm going to take this, come up here, and duplicate. Now I've got two. I'm going to put them side by side, put them pretty close together. And I want to make sure that they cut straight and even, so I'm going to align the tops of these so that they are perfectly aligned when I send them to the printer. Select everything again. Attach so that they stay in place. Okay, now this is one solid thing. Now I can hit make it. Okay, you see I've got two of them on here now. And I can do this on one sheet of paper. I've got, I've got everything just the way I need it. I'm going to hit continue. Oh, I don't have my Cricut connected. Let me get that done. There we go. 
Okay. Um, you're going to hit this send to printer. You do have to have a printer to be able to print these from home. This is the printer that I want, so it's selected. Um, right here, you would put in however many copies you need. Um, I'm just going to do this one because, you know, I don't really care to print a whole bunch of this. And you want to make sure this bleed is turned on. The bleed will kind of expand the color just a little bit so that there's no white edges around your design when the Cricut cuts it. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here so that I can get out um, the camera and show you the rest of the steps from printing and cutting. All right, see you in just a minute. Okay, so my color printer ran out of ink. So I just used a regular piece of copy paper and I printed this on my black and white printer. And I placed it on my light grip Cricut mat. And now we're just going to put it in the Cricut. Sorry, I need another hand. Hold on a second. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so it's loaded into the Cricut and it is ready to cut. Oh, let me change my settings to paper here because I'm just using plain copy paper. Okay, and we'll watch Cricut do its thing. It's going to read the registration marks. If you can see, in just a second, a little light is going to come on, and it's reading the black marks on the paper so that it knows exactly where to cut. Here it goes. And that's it. It's done. Pull it out. Move it back over here. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. But as you can see, it cut perfectly just the invitation that I wanted to have cut out. And I did this um, since the new updates in Design Space. I know a lot of people have been having trouble with the print and cut feature, but as long as you work everything correctly within Design Space and you make sure to hit flatten, you shouldn't have any trouble at all. All right, thanks guys, we'll see you next time.